Welcome everyone from Razorback Stadium. We're giving you the global viewpoint zooming in on the stadium. The reason why we're doing this isn't just because it's kind of cool to look at, but the fact is Champions for Kids has international reach. And so Jim Shankle, I want you to work with the folks that are from the Fulbright Scholar Group at the University of Arkansas. Take it away, Jim. Thank you, Ronnie. I appreciate that. Yeah, we've had uh, some interesting interviews all, all day and yesterday. This is really a real treat and a different one. What I managed to do is to, actually my wife did, rounded up uh, a number of the students at the University of Arkansas from other countries that are on a Fulbright Scholar. And it's a cultural exchange program for them to understand what we do and then for us to be able to understand them as well. This group of students have uh, adopted Champions for Kids as one of their projects, and they're going to be taking the learnings that they've gotten from this event and for the other things that they've done and then uh, take them back to their country. So we'll start with the first one from Trinidad and Tobago. Hi, my name is Tasha, and from, as he said, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Akramuddin Bahram, and I'm from Afghanistan. Hey, I'm Soledad Balancheri from Uruguay. Uruguay, okay. Hello, I'm Erkin. I'm from Kyrgyzstan, Central Asia. Kyrgyzstan and Central Asia? I'm Siti Aisha Makabago. I'm from the Philippines. Philippines. Hi, I'm Devin. I'm from India. Tell us about the Fulbright Scholarship. What is that uh, for those who don't know? Fulbright Scholarship was first implemented by Senator William Fulbright after World War II, in which he used the money from sales from old um, war, um, yes, sales from old war vehicles to put in into scholarships for the people to come into and have a cultural diversity mix into the United States. This um, scholarship is a federal scholarship is the, and is administrated by the Department of State. The, also, Senator Fulbright who had one ideology in which all Fulbrighters establish or idealize, and this is education take, takes peep nations into people. And he believed, as well as all, all the other Fulbrighters around the world, that the way in which we have to knowledge to flow is true um, means of understanding each other and this would help solve problems in both in the science world, the education world, the policy world. The more we get to know each other the better we'll be able to understand, comprehend and be able to build it as a, what it meant to be, the full potential. Very good. And how long will you be here? How many more uh, months do you have before you return to uh, Trinidad and Tobago? Oh, one more year again. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. All right. Now let's talk a little bit about the programs. I mean, it's kind of interesting. You guys have adopted Champions for Kids as a service project. What was it that caused you to do uh, do Champions for Kids, choose them, and, and uh, what have you been doing to uh, to assist? Well, uh, we are as, the, as, an, uh, as a student organization, uh, we believe that we have to uh, get in contact with the communities and do the cultural exchange part of the Fulbright mission. We are on Fulbright scholarships from different countries. So when we heard about the, for, the Champions for Kids Reserve Fest event, we all get ex got excited. We said this is the project that we were looking for. We should get on. And uh, we established contacts with the people of the Champions for Kids. They were also excited to get us on. And we just started and we uh, ended up here today serving them. And learning from what they're doing here for the uh, for the kids of uh, of the society. Tell me your views about how these programs can work. Uh, various adjusted, obviously, for your country, but how can they work in Afghanistan? Champions for Kids. What it's doing is for the kids of the society. And when we look at the building blocks of society for the future, it is the children. Today's children, today's kids, or tomorrow's people, tomorrow's decision makers, tomorrow's leaders. And if we had, like I said before, if we had such programs 30 years ago in Afghanistan, today we wouldn't have a ruined nation, a ruined country, I'm, uh, which is an unfortunate uh, thing for me to say, uh, coming from that country. But uh, these programs, I strongly believe, build character in the kids. It builds in them the, uh, the understanding that society stays stable when every member of the society come together and work together and 
for different reasons. And such activities that Champs for Kids are doing, it's excellent. And I adopted, and I believe if, we, if I go back to Afghanistan in a couple of years and in a way replicate it, maybe I will be building my, the future of my nation. Thank you.